Hey you all, it's Amber from the Ostomy Diaries. I typically use a two-piece pouching system by Hollister, but I've been getting a lot of questions about one pieces, so I decided to try the Censura Mio one-piece pouching system. In this video, I'm going to be telling you all my experience and thoughts about this pouch, so let's get to it. Eric from Vegan Ostomy did an awesome review on this bag as well, so I'm going to link his blog that has a link to his video down below. If you haven't checked out the Vegan Ostomy blog or YouTube, you definitely need to head over there and do that. He has a ton of great information, product reviews, definitely go check that out. Okay, so the pouch that I used is the opaque one. You can't see through it right off. It is 10471. Immediately just touching this bag, the material is awesome. One con that I, I love Hollister products, but one con about this bag, um, I use 18182. The material gets kind of fuzzbally. Like, I wear high-waisted jeans a lot, and after several days of wear, the material does get fuzzbally and kind of wear down, and that's irritating. It doesn't feel as durable. The Sinchera Mio line in general feels like a really durable material. I, it's, it's sleek, it's comfortable, and it's not going to get that fuzzbally texture to it after several days of wear. Now, this is the opaque one, but it has an inspection window, which I think is super cool. You can flip it up right here, and you're able to see your stoma, make sure everything's okay under there. That is a feature that I think is super helpful. I did that especially right after surgery when I was just getting used to things. Your, your surgeon tells you to make sure it's that nice pinkish red color. So the inspection window would be helpful for newbie ostomates that are wanting to keep an eye on that. Another feature about this bag that I like is the lock and roll at the bottom seems to be a little bit better than the Hollister bags. The end of it down here, when you open it up, the end actually flips back, so you don't really get as much output on the rim of it and on the Velcro material and stuff like that, like on the Hollister bags sometimes. So the end is made of a little bit better material. It does have that option where you can flip that back um, and it actually Velcros back. Then you can roll it up just like the Hollister bag, except instead of the um, snap closure, like this has just a big long piece that you snap closed. This just has two little pieces on the side that you can Velcro closed like that. And then another thing I really liked about this bag that I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, I did it, but underneath the inspection window, there's a little piece of Velcro right there. So this Velcro fabric piece can go right here. You can fold it up, snap it under there, and then this kind of folds over it. So it can actually become really short in a really small bag for discreetness. It'll help you feel more comfortable. Um, so that's a really cool feature about this as well. There was a couple things that I didn't really like about this pouch. I am so used to my two-piece system. That's what I've used since I got home from the hospital. So this was really branching out for me. But on my flange here, I like to just take my finger and line, put a little pressure around this and just kind of line that circle to make sure that I get a good seal. I didn't feel like I could do that as well with this bag. The flange part is attached and, and there's no ring there, so I didn't feel like I could do that as well. Um, another thing that I didn't really 
like about using a one piece, and this would be any one piece, I still cut to fit my bags. I feel like if I gain or lose weight, my stoma size may change. So I still cut my own. I don't get them pre-cut when they're sent out to me. So I cut it and then I just had to kind of guess when I stuck it on there, you know, because if you cut this and then you're sticking it on your stoma, I can usually eyeball where it needs to go when I'm using this with a one piece. You don't really have that option, so you just kind of have to go in blind and stick it on. And then, like I said, I didn't feel like I could, you know, find that perfect spot to line it and make sure I get a good seal. Lastly, the thing that I loved about this bag was it feels like you are wearing nothing. I got so used to this hard um, plastic rim on my Hollister bag that when I put this on, I mean, y'all look at this. I'm folding the bag in half. This particular style of Coloplast bag, um, since it's a one piece, it doesn't have to have that rim that you attach the bag to. So it's so flexible. If you're a super active person and you like to work out a lot um, or doing something where you need a little more freedom with your abdomen, this is so flexible. I loved that about it. It, it kind of made me nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm not wearing anything. So that was something I really, really liked about this bag. If you're thinking about trying a one-piece system, I would highly recommend trying a Centura Mia one-piece first. I think this is a good place to start. You get the discreetness of it being opaque, but you still have the inspection window. Overall, I'm not sold on the one-piece. I think I'm gonna stick with my two-piece simply because, as I've said in other videos, I like to change my bag without changing the entire system. I might want to put on a smaller bag or, or change the size of the bag, so I do like to have that option of just popping it off and then popping a new one back on. But I did really like this one-piece system. My Hollister two-piece, I feel like that lasts four to five days before I have to change the entire system. This one lasted me about two. I'm not sure if it's because I'm just not used to it. I know a lot of Austin mates that use this bag and they can get five days out of it or however long um, they keep it on. I love, love, love the material of this bag. I just, maybe I need to get a little better at putting the one piece system on. I didn't feel that I could get as good of a seal and since I have an ileostomy, my output is a lot more liquidy and active. So I felt like by not being able to get that really good seal and be very specific about where I put it on, I didn't feel like it would last as long for me as my two-piece product does. If you're wanting to try a one-piece pouching system, I would highly, highly recommend starting here. It's an awesome product. So I hope this video gave you a little bit more information about the Centura Mio One Piece system. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Be sure to check me out on social media at Ostomy Diaries, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!